Okay, yes, I'm ready. Um, uh, thank you, Agostino. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Gianfranco Fancello. I'm an associate professor at the University of Cagliari in the Department of Transport. And uh, my fields uh, of interest are uh, uh, maritime transport, uh, port management and port organization. Uh, so in this speech I give you my personal point of view uh, regarding uh, safety in uh, maritime transport in port uh, organization, um, especially uh, analyzing the result of my last research and, uh, and the project that I'm uh, carrying on in this, uh, in this period. Uh, first of all, um, sorry for this video message uh, because for me today it's impossible uh, to be there with you. Uh, so I hope that uh, this uh, short video message can be useful for your conference and uh, for your uh, activity uh, today. Okay, safety can be analyzed using a different point of view. Uh, first point of view for me, because I am a, a, a researcher, is the point of view of researchers, uh, uh, obviously. Uh, but there are other uh, point of view to analyze um, uh, safety, for example, the um, uh, legal and institutional uh, point of view, or the organization and management system uh, uh, point of view. Uh, so uh, all these uh, point of view are strictly connected, uh, strictly connected, and it is possible to analyze also uh, the link and the connection between, for example, research and organization system, or research and um, uh, management system, or research and legal. Um, uh, institutional uh, uh, institutional uh, system. Uh, um, uh, obviously, I speak today in analyzing the, uh, the safety uh, only um, uh, using the point of view of uh, research. And uh, uh, speaking about safety, uh, the main important uh, um, uh, the main important. Uh, structure in uh, uh, safety is uh, um, divide the safety in uh, active safety and passive sa safety. Uh, uh, what is the difference between active and passive uh, safety? Uh, the active safety is uh, um, all the uh, analysis, uh, all the research, all the aspect that uh, analyze uh, the element and analyze uh, uh, the, the, the aspect before the accident. Uh, so the objective is uh, the objective of active safety is to reduce the number of accidents and reduce the probability that an accident can happen. Um, in passive safety, instead, on the contrary, I analyze not the probability that an accident can be happening, but, but analyze the accident. My objective, if uh, I use the passive, uh, um, if I, I study the, the passive safety, is to reduce the effect in the um, in the in the system in the worker uh, in the in, in the area generally in the uh, the effect of an accident so uh, my objective in not, is not to, to study uh, how to reduce the uh, the number of accidents, but how to reduce the effect of uh, an, uh, an accident. Active safety and passive safety uh, have a different branch uh, to develop uh, the research. For example, in passive safety, 
this branch are uh, biomechanical branch or, or anthropometric and ergonomics uh, uh, branch or, or matter. And uh, biomechanical, the objective of biomechanical uh, is uh, to, uh, to analyze uh, the body and to analyze the human factor as a mechanical field and so to analyze how the body um, is, is uh, how is possible to protect the body uh, during an accident or how is possible to reduce the effect in the different part of the body the head or feet or arms uh, and so on um, related to an, uh, an accident. Inactive uh, safety, uh, because the objective is uh, to reduce the number of accidents, uh, the question is uh, how is possible to reduce the, uh, the accident, uh, how is possible to reduce uh, the fatal events, how is possible to reduce the risk. Um, uh, so, analyzing the um, human uh, work in uh, Port Area, for, for for example, is the objective of uh, your uh, uh, your conference. Um, uh, for this, it's important to analyze for worker, for example, the fatigue level, and uh, analyze how uh, the fatigue for each worker increase, and how uh, this um, fatigue uh, fatigue. Uh, reduce uh, the worker cap uh, ability and the worker uh, capacity uh, and so reducing this uh, um, in increase the probability that uh, this worker can um, um, create a mistake and then can generate an uh, uh, accident. For this uh, um, it's very important to um, to create, to analyze the human factor element that influence the fatigue level for each worker. Uh, um, you know very well that uh, uh, these aspects are different if we analyze different type of uh, worker and, and different function for each worker or for different uh, worker too. Uh, for example, um, uh, for uh, um, uh, quake rain operator, uh, the aspect that uh, um, uh, influences the fatigue for quake rain operator is uh, totally different of the aspect that uh, um, increase the fatigue level for uh, um, the operator or for a pilot uh, in uh, inside a ship. Uh, for a uh, uh, truck operator or other uh, uh, operator or other worker inside um, a port. So, uh, in, uh, in safety analysis and human factor analysis in particular, it's important to relate the human factor aspect with the, the, uh, uh, with the particular uh, function that uh, um, uh, uh, this worker is uh, doing and uh, um, uh, create and uh, define uh, the relation between uh, human factor and uh, um, uh, activity. So the question is how is possible to analyze, how is the best way to analyze uh, the principal aspect that influence uh, uh, the fatigue level in for quake crane uh, operator, uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, the best tool for this is uh, a simulator. So uh, it's important to create a, a quake crane simulator to analyze all the aspects that influence um, uh, the fatigue level for a quake crane operator and analyze uh, each aspect that influence the fatigue level uh, for a uh, uh, particular task. And, and for each task, because um, um, simulator 
is a, a tool where it's possible to reproduce in a, a separate way, uh, reproduce very well all, all, all the function and all the um, element uh, that compose a particular task and reproduce all the elements that influence the, the fatigue level and create a stress level for, um, for this uh, uh, operator. In, uh, in my department uh, and in Central Lab, uh, Central Lab is uh, a center of research uh, in, uh, in Cagliari, uh, strictly connected with uh, my department at the um, university. Uh, several years ago, we uh, have developed with uh, Agostino a um, Quay Crane uh, Simulator. The name is Camellia. Um, Chameleon is um, a, a tool uh, uh, where it is possible to um, reproduce uh, the uh, uh, Quay Crane task, uh, the Quay Crane sorry, uh, operator, and the task um, for uh, this operator, uh, in particular. Uh, in the uh, reproducing the movement uh, uh, between BART uh, uh, to ship and to ship and BART to load and unload container from a ship to BART and from a BART to, uh, uh, to ship. Um, Chameleon is um, a very nice instrument, uh, probably several of, uh, of you uh, already know um, uh, Chameleon, is a, uh, it's a simulator uh, with uh, um, uh, several degrees of freedom, with uh, four screen uh, um, for screen, a mobile uh, platform and uh, a, a cockpit um, that uh, reproduce exactly the cockpit of um, uh, a quick crane cabin. Also, uh, Chameleon reproduce the noise, reproduce the visibility, reproduce the uh, light, the weather condition, uh, wind, and so on. So it's uh, mm, uh, uh, during the uh, the analysis, it's possible to recreate and uh, to create all the conditions that influence the uh, fatigue level for the um, operator. So, uh, uh, if I want to, to investigate on uh, uh, relation between task uh, um, fatigue level or analyze the, the relation between uh, uh, risk uh, of accident and uh, fatigue level, I need to analyze, I need to uh, point my attention on human factor and um, because uh, the, 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 the human uh, mistake in, in, the tax, in the task is uh, the most important aspect that um, uh, create uh, an accident. Uh, so uh, how is possible to investigate on a, a, a human mistake? Uh, uh, a, a, a worker um, create a mistake when his level of uh, his level of uh, um, stress or his level of fatigue is high, and then decrease the attention, then decrease the concentration, and then uh, decrease all the control uh, element and so uh, the probability to, to do uh, a mistake uh, increase in the same, uh, in the same moment. Uh, now uh, the question is what are the most important element, uh, the principal element that influence the fatigue level for quick crane uh, operator and how is possible to reproduce this element uh, inside uh, a, a simulator. Uh, in our research, the, uh, the, the main element that influences the fatigue level for quick crane simulator are uh, seats, 
uh, are um, information uh, between uh, uh, ship and cabin and uh, the modality to transfer and to give the information and uh, the position of the arm uh, respect to the, um, the cockpit and uh, with, the, uh, with the simulator it's possible uh, to reproduce all the aspects and to uh, reproduce uh, um, all the elements that influence the seat, uh, um, uh, information and communication uh, with, uh, with the ship and uh, uh, the arm uh, supports. The arm supports. Uh, so, um, uh, for seat, uh, for seat, um, uh, our research study how uh, uh, the worker use uh, the seat uh, because um, um, we have different modality of seats. For seat, uh, it's important to analyze the contact point between worker and seat and uh, analyze how the worker use the seat if uh, uh, the contact is uh, in the in, in the surface of uh, in the total surface of, of, of the seat or or not uh, for this uh, um, we use uh, some tools that uh, um, record uh, the position um, uh, in uh, in a continuous uh, way the position of the uh, worker respect to the seat during the task and so it's possible to, to create, it's possible to relate the specific activity inside the task with the position of the worker respect um, to the seat. And, and, and the simulator is very useful uh, because recognize the uh, recognize the the activity, recognize the position of the worker, it's possible to record uh, um, to, 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 to record the, uh, with a video uh, the movement of a worker and, um, and so on. So um, uh, a simulator is very important because it's possible to reply uh, a particular uh, task or a particular activity inside the task to understanding if uh, uh, for this particular activity the position or, 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 or the, the relation between worker and uh, seat is normal or, or, or not. Uh, regarding the position of the arm, uh, the, uh, the elements are, are, are the same. It's necessary uh, to, to create a relation between task and position of the arm respect to the cockpit and uh, uh, analyze how this position creates a, um, a stress for, uh, uh, for quicker in uh, worker. Different uh, instead is um, uh, uh, the organization of uh, um, uh, analyze fatigue uh, created by um, uh, a bad communication between uh, um, uh, BART, between BART and uh, cabin or between shift and cabin because for seats and for harms uh, we are talking about a physical fatigue um, uh, uh, so um, the approach to analyze the physical uh, fatigues, fatigue is uh, different respect to mental fatigue. Uh, in, in fact, if we analyze the process of the communication elements between the ship and the cabin, in this way, in this um, in this particular element, we uh, we are talking about a mental uh, fatigue. Um, both mental fatigue and physical fatigue um, uh, create increase the global fatigue for the for the worker and decrease the level of uh, attention and uh, the level of attention decrease the concentration for uh, for worker and increase the risk of uh, accident. 
So the element uh, is fatigue, uh, physical fatigue and mental uh, fatigue, uh, which is the relation of these two types of fatigue respect to the um, uh, risk of uh, accident. Uh, now my department, in this period, my department is involved in several uh, European project, Interreg uh, project. Um, one of these uh, uh, is named uh, ISIDE. Uh, in this project I am uh, um, uh, chief project for, for this and the objective of this project is to analyze uh, exactly uh, the human factor aspect uh, respect to the um, uh, uh, port organization uh, system um, uh, with the um, with the objective to reduce the number of accidents and to reduce the risk of um, the risk of accident and the probability of, of accident. Uh, other project where my department is involved is uh, our um, uh, Alacres, uh, where Agostino is uh, a, a chief project and uh, OMD. All these projects are uh, funded by Interreg, uh, fund by European um, Union. Uh, next week, uh, in uh, 18 uh, October, uh, there in Genoa, in uh, Palazzo Ducale, uh, I suppose, uh, will be an um, a, a event of uh, presentation of this uh, uh, project and the connection, the relationship between uh, uh, all these projects in, um, uh, in a cluster uh, where the result of one and the, the result of one project is um, connected with the result of the uh, other project. So my um, my last uh, 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 my last words are, are to uh, I invite you uh, to this event uh, in Genoa and uh, to participate to Alacres is the and OMD project as a, a stakeholder. Um, a safety um, also for researchers as me and uh, Agostino is um, very very important and um, we need to have a strict collaboration and a strong collaboration with all uh, uh, stakeholders. So thank you very much for your attention, thank you Agostino and thank you everybody. Uh, I don't know if uh, uh, my speech is uh, clear or not, for, sorry for my in English, I tried to uh, explain uh, without slide, uh, it's difficult uh, to explain uh, uh, my, uh, um, uh, my speech, uh, sorry for all and uh, I um, uh, I hope to, to meet you during uh, uh, the, event, uh, the event of uh, uh, 18 October in, uh, in Genoa. Uh, bye bye and thank you again. Ciao a tutti.